Now, you've got some young guys that are going to help perform with you right now, yes. and, and it's going to sort of bring in a little bit of the Christmas spirit, and then you're going to take off on something calypsolistic of some sort? Yeah, I'll give you a little taste a little, little of flare. Spain 1925. Ooh, yes. that sounds good. Please, please take off on that. Thank Thanks. You. Thank you. take off and play that some music from Spain that was in the early 1920s. Go ahead, Gregory. It's always inspiring when children come together to help out others, but our next guests are particularly inspiring. They have found a way to make beautiful music for a good cause. They're having a special recital to benefit the D. Norton Low Country Children's Center, and that will be a benefit for that. Greg Gway has uh, brought some of his students today, along with Kerry Burris from D. Norton Children's Center. Tell us about this event that's going on. Well, I teach Suzuki guitar method, which is a, a method of getting the parents involved with uh, classical guitar children as young as four years old. And I have uh, several children, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and we are going to be performing um, November 15th at Sanctuary Hall and Gardens, and we're going to do a fundraiser to help the children that are involved with the D. Norton Low Country Children's Center. And tell us about the, the Children's Center, Carrie. You've been working there for a while, and, and, and what do they do, and how do they give back to the children that, that are in the need? Well, we are a child advocacy center, and we provide services to children and families in the Charleston and Berkeley counties area, mm -hmm. um, who are children and their families who are victims of child abuse. And it's from physical, sexual, neglect, um, mm -hmm. all, all sorts. We don't just target into one area of mm -hmm. abuse. And we give back through many ways, and especially um, things like this, where we are appreciative for third-party events, and it is a great way for the center to raise funds, extra funds and friends, and get involved and spread awareness of child abuse. Because funding is always needed. And, and, and Absolutely. Un unfortunately, how many children do we have that come into the center each year on average? Last year, we um, served over a little over 1,300 children. Wow. And it is, we are open Monday through Friday. And, and we that's are just the low country. That is. Yeah. And we are actually, you know, in the process mm -hmm. of expanding outside. Uh, mm -hmm. But we do have a national recognition mm -hmm. um, for services that we provide but mm -hmm. we, you know we give back as mm -hmm. as much as possible absolutely now Greg when does this uh, take place it's this coming Thursday mm -hmm. November 15th mm -hmm. 5 45 p.m. at the sanctuary hall and gardens mm -hmm. it's um, on 17 just past the IOP connector mm -hmm. 